What's up guys? So this video is going to be more like a companion piece to the previous Build a Butcher which focused more on Jacob's uh, head sculpt touch up paint and we're going to focus on Tanila's um, outfit here. To my knowledge there are three for this version of Bill. Uh, the Whoopsie Daisy, the regular Yunsel release, and Whoopsie Daisy is also Yunsel, and now Tanila's version of um, a different scene in the film. So when I purchased this Bill DX set, Tanila's alternative outfit was already in included from the previous owner or the owner before that. So I lucked out and I actually think it's very handsome, very majestic. So I swapped it out last night. The shirt that came with Tanila and the scarf or the tie that wraps around is more or less the same so I left the unsole. So this rug here is actually a mouse pad for the Big Lebowski. Uh, this table is from Damn Toys the Godfather. Also, uh, you know, the Don Colleon, and also the, the shot glass and the whiskey. This chair is Rain Man, I Mini Me, Chaplin. And this little spool is McFarlane Walking Dead related. The light's a little harsh here. The pipe that he's holding is actually from, you know, Rain Man Sculpt from the uh, regular release. Also, he shouldn't be wearing his um, knife belt. But, um, and also you don't get a lot of contrast because we'll, go, we'll, we'll show that the regular vest, the waistcoat, is dark against the red coat. So you get that contrast here, you don't really get it. So here is the original Yunsel pants from another scene in the film. So I just wanted to show you, you know, the big difference there. I feel like the checkered pants is more, it just seems more dressy to me. So that's why I kind of like it. It pops, you know, it really stands out on the shelf. Now the jacket that I'm holding here is actually the Tanila coat that came with this outfit. The jacket he's wearing is the original Yunsel Rain Man release. You can't really tell, but it's not maroon like this. It's more of a brick red. And the one that he's wearing is more of a fire engine screaming red, which isn't film accurate. This one's more accurate, but when I put it on the figure, it, it wasn't falling proper, so I figured I'd just leave the Yutzel one. Now these are the original vests, waistcoats. For some reason, there's two ones unopened. They're both Tory Box Yutzel. Uh, the patterns are a little different on the lapels, but it's not the screwed up version that was in the original release. But I like uh, this waistcoat better. I like the patterns better. It just looks classy. Um, the material might be, you know, slightly better on the Yunsel. That's expected. It's more money. It's more expensive. But um, it just works, I think. I don't know. You can see here that this color would break up the monotony with the red coat. So this is more of a blend. And other than the color red on the jacket, you know, being a little bright, this is what he wears in the scene, except the jacket's a little wine color, brick color red. So I want to go over the knives that Rain Man painted and I sculpted and painted because I didn't really cover it in the first video. And they're just incredible. I'm trying to use bright lighting here so you can see all the scuff marks and stress and everything. They're sort of flimsy so you got to be careful. I think one of them is actually metal. The rest seem to be uh, plastic. But they're really well done. With this outfit that I'm choosing, I'm not going to have his knife belt or I'm definitely not going to have the knives. He doesn't wear them in this scene. I believe this butcher knife is actually metal. It has weight to it. And it's really well done. It's gorgeous. Also, in the first video I did, I didn't have the pig's tray, so here it is. 